expected in a Toyota. Everything is executed in quality materials and assembled impressively well, at least in the pre-production trucks we drove. Conceiving all that, the front seats have rather short bottom cushions, and the rear seats in the access cab models are better used as parcel shelves than accommodating even the youngest mammals. The double cab models are more usable and likely to make up more than 70% of Tacoma production but the space back there isn't expansive. If you're looking to Uber with your Tacoma, don't expect to earn many 5-star ratings. On road, the new Tacoma in any grade is quieter and easier going than previous versions. The ride motions are better controlled, the V6 significantly more subdued, and the steering better manner if not particularly communicative. This isn't a sports car and it doesn't pretend to be. Performance Best guess has any V6 model waltzing to 60 miles per hour in about 8 seconds. Off the pavement, the DRD off-roads are impressive. The dual-range transfer case is easy to engage and there's a crawl control system that acts as a sort of low-speed off-road cruise control, electronically operating the engine and brakes when surmounting serious obstacles. It works, even though you still have to steer it. There wasn't much chance to operate the multi-terrain select system that optimizes the traction control system for particular conditions. It probably works. For a redesign that doesn't redesign everything, the new Tacoma is a solid update. But looking forward, this Markovich is likely to get only more competitive as the introduction of GM's fresh compact trucks invites more entries. And will this Tacoma get a diesel option if the Canyon-slash-Colorado twins attract buyers with their upcoming Duramax for cylinder The Tacoma has owned its space for at least a decade. Now, suddenly, that space is worth watching.